If you buy vegetables from a vendor at a market, what do you think the vendor does with this money? Most likely vendors have to make a number of payments with this money. Some have to buy the vegetables from a farmer or they have to pay to produce them. Maybe they also have to pay the employees, pay rent for the stall or taxes on their transaction. We call all of these payments financial transfers. In this module, we introduce you to different financial transfers and flows in Fika's Large Management. Following this module, you'll be able to list different financial transfers in Fika's Large Management, name stakeholders involved in financial transfers, and be able to discuss different financial flow models. Money matters. This is also true for the management of Fika's Large. In Fika's Large Management, money is exchanged by different stakeholders to cover their capital and operational maintenance costs. Let's look at some of these costs before we look at how they are balanced by financial transfers between stakeholders. Capital costs are paid when buying equipment or infrastructure. Let's consider, for example, this collection service provider shown in this picture in Kampala. Before you could start operating, he had to buy a gulper for Fika's Lodge collection and a pickup for transport of this sludge to a treatment plant. In addition, he had to buy other personal protection equipment, such as gum boots, face masks and gloves, and other tools of trade, such as these blue barrels. These are all capital costs. In contrast to these capital costs, which are paid one time or only every few years, operation and maintenance costs incur more regularly, often on a day-to-day -day basis, for operation and maintenance of different Fika's Lodge management services. Let us consider again our previous example. What would be operation and maintenance cost for a sales service provider? Fuel for the pickup or payment of the salary of his staff are examples for operation and maintenance costs. Replacement of personal protection equipment or cleaning supplies or paying of a discharge fee at a treatment plant are examples. In this case, the pickup is leased and the rent for the pickup and additional operation cost. Next to this example of this collection service provider in Kampala, Capital and operation and maintenance cost incur for all stakeholders involved in Fika's Lodge management. This includes environmental management authorities, utilities, municipalities, private companies, non-governmental or community-based organizations, and household-level users. These costs can be at very different magnitudes and frequencies. So whereas the capital cost for the gulper is usually several hundred US dollars, depending on which country it is being manufactured, a vacuum truck, as shown in this picture, may cost several thousand or ten thousand US dollars, and a city scale treatment plant, as shown here in Kampala, several million dollars. So that Fikasaj management service can be operated over a long period of time, financial transfers need to balance these costs of the different stakeholders. For example, our service provider would commonly cover his capital and operational maintenance costs through a service fee that he receives from a household for the collection of Fika's Lodge and transport to a treatment plant. Yeah. If this service fee is the only revenue stream and cannot cover its cost, it will likely result in poor performance of the service or they will go out of business. The number of financial transfers in Fika's Lodge management strongly depends on the stakeholder arrangement. This slide shows different stakeholder arrangements for Fika's Lodge management. Each block represents one stakeholder. In the first arrangement, one stakeholder manages the entire Fikasaj management service chain and there are no financial transfers between stakeholders. In contrast, other arrangements, such as the last one, where four, main, four stakeholders are managing the Fikasaj management service chain, includes more stakeholders and also potentially more financial transfers between these stakeholders. This slide shows a common example of institutional arrangements in Fika's Lodge management. They consist of a household, a private company for Fika's Lodge collection and transport, a public utility for Fika's Lodge treatment, and a farm or industry that uses Fika's Lodge treatment products. In a common financial flow model for this institutional arrangement, the households pay a service fee to the private service provider for collection and transport of Fika's Lodge for treatment. At a treatment plant, the company pays a discharge fee. This allows the service provider to legally the discharge sludge. This fee is paid in return for transferring the responsibility of managing the sludge from the collection and transport service provider to the treatment service provider. The sale of treatment products 
but the utility provides revenue for the utility. So in this example, the service fee, the discharge fee, and the revenue from the sales of treatment products are financial transfers. The direction of the arrows indicate in which direction the money flows. This is why we also call these financial flow models. Financial transfers have an effect up and down the service chain. For example, in the model we just discussed, one implication could be that when the utility charges a very high discharge fee, it will likely be passed on to the household by a high service fee charged by the collection and transport service provider. This could prohibit customers being able to afford collection and transport services, especially when they're poor households. Another implication could be that even when sludge is collected, collection and transport service providers illegally dump sludge to avoid the high discharge fee, as shown here. In addition, as the public utility operates without financial support from a government authority, treatment could be less subject to regulations, which could result in a poor treatment performance or poor effluent quality. How could this financial flow model be modified to reduce fees at the household level, ensure that fecal sludge is safely collected, reduce costs for the collection and transport service providers so that it can maintain sustainable business, and ensure quality treatment? One modification could be budget support of the utility by a government authority. This budget support could be funded through a sanitation tax. A sanitation tax is a payment from households to a government authority in return for services such as water, wastewater, or fecal sludge management. Sanitation is a public good and good sanitation has significant health and economic benefits. This justifies that the budget support to the utility could also be paid from other taxes, such as the property tax. With this budget support, the public utility does not entirely rely on the discharge fee and revenues from treatment products. It has additional revenues and thereby can reduce the discharge fee, which in turn reduces the total cost for the private collection transport service provider and also maybe the uh, service fee for collection and transport. In some parts of the Philippines, households pay 10 to 20% of their water bill to cover collection, transport, and treatment costs. This means that households who use less water and which also maybe have less money pay less for fecal sludge management. This is one example how the social economic realities could be considered in the sanitation tax. In parallel to the sanitation tax, government authorities could also consider issuing of operational licenses for the collection and transport service providers. This would be in return for reduction of the discharge fee to operate in a certain area or for issuing of a discharge license. Such licensing could be a first step to formalize the collection and transport sector, improve standards and be an entry point for further interventions, for example, for scheduled fecal sludge collection. As you have seen now, the model has become more and more complex and includes more stakeholders. Reliable implementation of a financial flow model with more stakeholders and more financial transfers requires good coordination and management. Such a model could be prone to corruption and relies on reliable tax collection that can be challenging, especially in urban poor areas with difficult accessibility and tenure. However, a sanitation tax could have the benefit of providing a reliable income for the public utility that is required for reliable operation and maintenance of the treatment plant. One tool to manage this increased complexity could be to make financial transfers electronic, for example, with phone-based money transfer. At the treatment plant in Kampala, collection and transport service providers pay the discharge fee by transferring money with their mobile phones to the account of utility. So there's actually no cash being handled. These were some examples of financial flow models developed for training purposes and banned based on available literature and our work in Uganda, Senegal, and Tanzania. There is no single financial flow model that has been shown to be effective for fecal sludge management in all situations, with a number of different stakeholders that can be both public and also private, and the number of financial transfers, a large number of different financial flow models could be developed. In reality, as the urban areas in which they exist, these financial flow models can be much more complex I dynamic will develop over time and maybe also exist in parallel to each other in one area. In this module, we learned about different financial transfers in fecal search management.
depending on different stakeholder arrangements. Financial transfers include a sanitation tax, service or discharge fee, budget support, a discharge or operational licenses, and sales revenue from treatment products. We also learned to read and discuss financial flow models. What is the financial flow model in your city? We hope that examples provided in this module inspired you to explore what could work best in your city.